Hi everybody, and uh, welcome to Living Miracles What's New for March 2018. Today I'm joined by Kristen. Welcome Kristen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi everybody. <laughs> and we have a, a little to cover, but uh, we can just uh, let you know what's been happening here in the month. Uh, we had the exciting Adventure into the Heart of Awakening retreat, which is a fantastic event. We had um, more than 40 people come from different parts of the globe to come join us here on the property. And we had uh, David Hofmeister, we had um, a lot of the elders in the community here giving talks, giving movie sessions, it was incredibly deep. Um, we had a, a celebratory boat ride at the end, which was fantastic, and uh, just a beautiful event. Also this past month, we've had our 2018 ACIM conference up in San Francisco, California, with David speaking and uh, just shining his light there. And uh, we had a full Living Miracles team up there in support. Michael Caruana, Sarah St. Clair flew in to be able to support for the event. Jeffrey was there, Susanna's there, and uh, just a number of other supporters coming in to really shine and um, be in the vibrancy of that event. And uh, we actually had a special treat too with um, Strawberry Ambassador Ned Bowen. Bowen. Yeah. Yeah, coming in to sing uh, before David's. Um, David's talks there and we've got some really stunning footage to be able to share with you of her just really pouring her heart into the music and sharing with everybody. Here it is. Here it <laughs> is. Check it out. <laughs> Speaking of Netta Bowen as our Strawberry Ambassador, she'll also be one of the musicians headlining at our Strawberry Fields Music and Enlightenment Festival coming up in August, and um, we're delighted to be able to have Kirsten Buxton and Ricky Como here with us down in Mexico at La Casa here, and just be joining in with the Strawberry vibe with them. Let me take you down to Strawberry Fields where nothing is real. Uh, today we are joined by Ricky Como and Kirsten Buxton and they are both uh, musicians at the upcoming 2018 Strawberry Fields Music and Enlightenment Festival. So the festival is coming up in a few months guys, how is it feeling? Are you feeling the excitement of it yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For me it feels very present, like, like this feeling of strawberry started when the idea first came in and this feeling of just like it's here and now and yeah the festival is in August but every time we talk about it I feel that we're in it like we're in the vibe now and every song we play to do with strawberry every video uh, connecting with people coming just feels like the whole thing is the festival <laughs> And so it sounds like you guys are going to have some travels even before Strawberry starts in the coming months. So you're headed up to the monastery or um, Utah now, and there's going to be some movements before Strawberry kicks off. June will be a month that uh, Kirsten and I do go out, do some travels, just to just to go and spread the word right before the event. And for me, the event really starts in July, where we're going to accept applications. Um, devotional service opportunities, I'd like to call it, where you can come and, and serve and live as we do out in the monastery for the month of July and through the retreat. And there's an after retreat, an after um, voice liberation retreat. So it's really for um, the month of July and half of August that we're um, accepting applications to come and serve and um, use everything as a backdrop for mind training and healing and joy and connecting and vibrancy and love. <laughs> <laughs> just the, watching the whole thing come together, like we just felt the inspiration, could hear this is the guidance, this is what's going to happen and then just 
being part of seeing who comes in to be part of it is part of the joy. So we just keep our minds open and our um, to hearing who comes to mind and then just seeing the team come together and everyone involved just gets caught up in this swirl, call it the strawberry swirl, <laughs> <laughs> um, of inspiration. I mean, we just love music. We spiritually inspired music that takes you there. You know, that is an invitation into the presence where the music has come from. And so we have these amazing musicians uh, coming for whom A Course of Miracles is their path. And so, you know, they're not singing to perform, they're singing to to be in the awakening experience. That's beautiful, because I know it's really much deeper than just like a music festival. It really is like the deep teachings and, and Kirsten, you're like a visionary for this event as well. He said that, and, uh, and David too. So you'll both be speaking there as well with, with deep sessions, not just music too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think David will do at least one movie gathering because we have a huge stage right out in the vast canyon, mm -hmm. and uh, we can. We've had movie gatherings out there before, and it's so fun. Everyone in their camp chairs with their blankies, <laughs> just just like being at a big drive-in movie, you know, in the canyon. And then, yeah, he'll hold another uh, session or two. So, yeah, it is. It's really enlightenment. You know, it's all about opening our minds to, to the spirit. And, and so every session has that quality behind it and that purpose behind it. Uh, like Kirsten was saying, we get to collaborate. It means relationships and new people come and they're just so excited to, to come and feel the presence out in that beautiful canyon and just to link in and, and to join in the mind for the one purpose of awakening and it's just like David has talked about it a lot and also in these videos that you've interviewed him on Kirsten and it's just like this is about inspiration and spirit and being uplifted it's not any ordinary conference or you know teaching or speaking it's a it's like a spirit inspired festival and everyone's just so fully in that love and that's where everything is coming from and I can just hear them right now and you see all those smiles on people's faces and they're just in that joy and that's what we're going to be a part of all through July and August and I'm really yeah and it's right now you're right we're mm -hmm. feeling it right now here in our last week in Mexico in the sunshine and we're going up to put our snow boots on so we'll bring strawberry with us wherever we go <laughs> <laughs> oh that's beautiful <laughs> Well, I did also want to talk about the uh, the website because we have a, a brand new website which I've been a part of and everyone here has been a part of uh, creating. If you go to strawberryfieldfestival.com, you can check it out. Um, we have a page about uh, visionaries and uh, the, the upcoming musicians. And we'll also be adding new musicians uh, to the musicians' pages uh, as they are released. Yeah, it's a beautiful website and there's so many songs and videos and just deep teachings that you can check out. It's awesome. So Strawberry is coming up this August uh, from the 2nd to the 7th. And um, if you sign up now, in fact, if you sign up anytime before April 1st and pay in full, you'll receive $100 off. So um, yeah, we really just encourage you, if you're feeling the vibe, if you feel a strong tickle in your heart, and maybe strawberries for you, you're not quite sure, but you've been hearing it, you've been seeing it, sign up now. And um, if you're interested in extending your stay as well, um, you can join us for our Heart Song Voice Liberation Workshop, which is going to be right at the tail end of Strawberry. That's going to be from August 8th through 11th, and uh, that's going to be with Netta Bowen. And it's also going to be with Emily Warwick and Ricky Como here, and um, it's just going to be uh, really, really beautiful. And Kirsten and Jason and David will be there as well. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us both. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to joining everyone at the Strawberry Field Festival. Mm. Mm. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's a joy to be in the vibe <laughs> yes, together. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's such a joy being able to join with Ricky and Kirsten. So, um, we also have coming up uh, online retreats. We had a full month of online retreats during the month of January, which maybe we, maybe you heard about already. And um, yeah, they're just really vibrant and deep and there's a real intimacy that, you know, there's nothing lost in it not being a physical retreat. So the online element really is there to make it so accessible for everybody around the world to join with us. Really, you can sink into the retreat vibe in your own home, tell everybody 
that you're on retreat for the weekend and there's just um, a really beautiful opportunity to come together with other mighty companions and really sink deeply into the teachings. David's really been having some really dynamite talks and they're, they're just so, so amazing. So this month, from March 2nd to March 4th, Jason Warwick and a number of the other Living Miracles elders here will be uh, leading this retreat and there'll be live music and clips and a uh, movie. So visit our Living Miracles event page and you can learn more about the event there and how to register. And um, actually, you're going to want to do that soon because it's coming up fast. So March 2nd, mark it on your calendar and keep it in mind for future months. Uh, first full weekend every month. Also, we are so inspired to share with you that there's this new, really expansive extension vibe happening, even more so than usual. And it uh, feels like everybody in the community here in Mexico and even at our other centers up in Camas, we're all mobilized. And there's this new movement happening, a little bit of a revival of LM Virtual, if you're familiar with that. So it's going to be online shows and everybody's just bringing their inspiration forward. Yeah, as David kind of goes into a bit more of a quiet time at the moment, uh, the community has a great opportunity to all step forward and really shine and share what's on their hearts. So. Um, Look out for us uh, on our LM Virtual Facebook page and um, we're going to be giving out some more uh, details very soon and you'll see our live uh, Facebook videos and other links to join in on our shows and so just, uh, yeah, it's going to be very exciting. We're all very excited to just share our hearts. <laughs> Truly. Thank you so much, Peter. It's been really a joy joining with you here yeah, and being you. able to share all of this with you all. And Such a pleasure having you on the show too and so... Take care, um, tune in with us, and uh, we'll see you on the next What's New. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>